case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. A high stakes legal ordeal paired Malaysian Corporation, Kalthar SDN BHD, against multiple defendants in the United States, including the now bankrupt company, Rimsat Limited. The saga was rooted in Kalthar's staggering $38 million investment in Rimsat, which evaporated when Rimsat declared bankruptcy just six weeks later. Feeling wronged, Kalthar sought reparations, accusing the defendants of exploiting U.S. activities to orchestrate an international scheme of fraud intended to dupe Kalthar into investing in the financially unstable Rimsat. The bitter legal battle ensued in the district court, leading to Kalthar filing complaints for apparent infringements of federal securities laws, RICO violations, and apparent transgressions of state laws. Kalthar's attempt to get justice proved to be an uphill battle as the district court shrugged off all claims. The court cited reasons ranging from the lack of jurisdiction to meeting out allegations with insufficient specifics, as stipulated in Rule 9, B, of the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure. In addition, the lawsuit's time-barred nature and Kalthar's inability in establishing control person liability further weakened their grievances. Additionally, the court rejected Kalthar's accusations regarding the civil RICO violations. Unfazed by the district court's dismissal, Kalthar appealed the judgment. The court, however, remained firm on its decision and expounded on why Kalthar's securities fraud claims fell short. Kalthar's accusations against Rimsat were rejected as the court deemed them time-barred. Kalthar had lodged allegations of fraud against the defendants more than a year after recognizing the cause of action, hence exceeding the statute of limitations. Additionally, the court found Kalthar's civil RICO claims lacking, thanks to insufficient and inadequately pled predicate acts, among other shortcomings on integral parts of Section 1962, A.D. RICO requirements. In conclusion, the court sustained the district court's verdict, citing insufficient arguments made by Kalthar against the reasons for dismissal. The case presented a stark reminder of the complexity surrounding anti-fraud securities statutes application in foreign commerce, shedding light on how American regulations could apply to foreign transactions causing consequences in the U.S. That said, the ruling unwaveringly signified the paramount need for the plaintiff to meet Rule 9, B, requirements and adhere to the statute of limitations during proceedings. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.